So now we're going to mix our solution. Uh, we have two bottles, one solution A, one solution B. Uh, before I start mixing, opening the bottles, I'm going to put on some gloves. Uh, and there are a pair of plastic gloves in your kit, or you can use any gloves you have. Washing up gloves. These are um, tattooists gloves, I think. Okay, uh, and what I'm going to do is equal parts of the two solutions. Um, so I'm going to just get put three capfuls of each. This is just a, a empty food tub. Anything will do that you have around the house. So one. Three. There goes solution A, slightly yellow looking. And now three capfuls of solution B. One, two, three. And you'll see there's plenty left in your bottles, uh, so you, what you've got here will go quite far, give you plenty of chance to experiment and make plenty of prints. So we're going to use our, um, our sponge brush. Before we do that, I'm just going to give it a quick stir around, make sure that the mixture is evenly mixed. Okay. And then... I'm going to do a couple of pieces of this A6 watercolour paper. Uh, you can either take it right up to the edges or if you'd like a bit more of an artisanal effect, you can leave a little bit around the edge so that you can see the brush strokes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a light, in a, in a light tightish box. Um, we're going to use the box that the kit came in actually and uh, then we can um, put that in a dark room, uh, a cupboard or um, something of that sort is absolutely fine. We are in a studio so we actually have a dark room to put them in um, and they're going to need to sensitise uh, for an hour or so. Um, before we can make them into prints. So there's two pieces there. Now, this is a bit more interesting. This is a piece of cotton in uh, an embroidery hoop. I'm going to be careful when I put the, um, put the um, uh, mixture on not to get it onto the wood at all um, so that the wood remains unstained and then it can be used to display the picture afterwards hang up on the wall. You can make cyanotype prints onto all sorts of different surfaces and you can experiment, try different sorts of paper, see what the effect is. Old book pages, for example, look really nice. Different sorts of fabrics will take on in different ways depending on the weave. There we go. In there. And then we can take this into the dark room. <laughs> 